Welcome back, LHS. My name is Reed. And I'm Amari. Today is December or Wednesday, December 6th. We have student information, club updates, and more. This is your Blue Devil News. News. Today, Tennessee Promise meets in the cafeteria at 320. Teachers, if you have any students that are a part of Tennessee Promise, send them down at 315. Snowball has returned. It is scheduled for Saturday, December the 16th from 6 to 9 p.m. Tickets are on sale for $15 at the bank. Teachers, if you're interested in being a chaperone, contact Ms. Martinez for more information. Hosa has started selling socks. The single sock packs are $7 and a pack of three are 15 The first 90 pairs of socks will help someone in a third world country get a prosthetic leg. We have lots of options to choose from and they will be found in Ms. Ward's room, C306. Students, if you're bringing the notes for excusing, for excusing absences, they can be no later than three days. There will be no exception after those three days. They will, be, they will not be able to take notes from November, but only if the absence was within the last couple of weeks. The Christmas tree is now up in the front office. However, it is lacking decoration. Teachers, if your class would like to make ornaments, ornaments for the Christmas tree, that will be greatly appreciated. The ad class is selling leftover fruits and cheesecakes. Details are in the email from Mr. Wick. Biosim also meets this Friday. Welcome back, LHS. I'm Trevante here with the weather today. Today will be a high of 48 and a low of 34. Tomorrow, to, by the end of school, it should be 48 degrees, and tomorrow it will be 58 degrees. That's all. My name is Jackson, and I'm here with your sports news. Last night, the Blue Devils and Devilettes took on the Blackman Blaze. The Devilettes won last night 55-43, while the Blue Devils lost 56-37. They'll be back in action Friday at Green Hill. The theme is White Lies. SWIM has a meet this Thursday at the Jimmy Floyd Center against Wilson Central, so come out and support. Yesterday, over 160-plus bowlers complete, competed in the TWSAA Individual State Regional Tournament for their chance to compete for the state individual title to be held in Smyrna in January. Congratulations to our very own Braxton Crook for advancing to the TWSAA Individual State Tournament. Cut. Yep. That's all the news we have for you today. I'm Amari. And I'm Reed. This has been the news to you from the white and blue.